Hello friends, we are back to make some soap. This is our fresh raspberries. I'm really excited. It's been a year. I only make this about once a year. So it's been about a year since I've made this soap. So I'm excited. Sort of the same uh, theme that I made last year with it. We'll have the green bottom, the white top, and the white top will have the jojoba beads in it. Try to clean up my workstation in between batches, but you know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, so. I'm going to scrape the top of this stick blender off over here and then clean it off again. It's got yuckies on it from the last couple of batches. I mean, it's not yucky, but you know, it's got soap on it from the last couple batches. Which it really doesn't come off on the next batch, it sticks to the stick blender, but... This next round, when I clean up dishes in between, I'll clean up my pitcher that holds my water. I try to clean it up every three or four batches, the pitcher, clean it out. And with our coconut milk. Alright, so I'm going to pour off a small amount for the bottom. Ooh, before I do that, I need to run over here and grab one of my molds. Okay, now that I have that on hand. So this is going to be my bottom. I'm going to do it green. I need to grab my green, just a second guys. I need green apple, where are you? You know, and I, there it is. I label the tops of my jars to, to make it easy to find them. Not so much. So a little bit of green apple, a little bit of fragrance, and I'm going to stick blend this to hopefully get it to a thicker trace so it sets up in the bottom of my mold. Just cleaning my stick blender there. in nice and gently and I'm going to keep whatever stays in my container in my container because I like to put it on the top at the end and give the top just a little bit something you know all right so I'm going to use the Vitaverse beads instead of just plain jojoba beads that have vitamin E in them for the top portion and we'll get our white. I pre-mixed a bunch of titanium dioxide up um, before I started and then I figured whatever I had left over at the end of the day will go in my mixer bottle. 
And with our fragrance. Yeah. Look, my fingers is for his ears, and look, it's a puppet now. <laughs> Silly goose. All right, now I'm going to stick blend this, and I do want it to set up so some, uh, because I don't want all of my beads to float to the bottom. Clean up my mess that I just made. stir just to make sure everything's incorporated. As you can see they're sitting on the top of the soap so I know that they're not going to sink once I get it in the mold and it's sitting there overnight you know and I'm not paying attention to it. Now I'm going to try to do this ever so gently Try is the operative word. I'm just letting it flow all the way down till it reached the other end. Now we are safe to turn that baby over. Now I'm gonna scrape, 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 scrape. Take this green that we saved. And just put it across the top. And then what I'll do is I'll pause you guys, clean up just a little, and then come back and texture the top. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna see. I believe it's ready. Just a little bit of texture. Sort of ready. It'll be enough for what I'm going for. It's just a teeny tiny bit really aiming just to swirl that green and give it just a little something something. And clean up the edges and call this one done. Alright guys we'll bring you back for the cut. Hey guys I'm back to cut fresh raspberry Ooh, looks like we got titanium dioxide rivers or glycerin rivers on the well I seen it on the end I don't know if it's gonna go through the soap or not no not really the beads are nifty in here very nice
And of course, it smells absolutely amazing, guys. Love it. This is one of my all-time favorite soaps, period. Like, I absolutely love this soap. So pleased with the amount of soaps we got made. Alright, I got one more cut here. And that's that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.